Now, we're going to uh, play another tune, and it was made famous by the Beatles. And uh, actually, it was made famous by Earth, Wind, and Fire with the Beatles, wrote it. And it's called, am I correct? On that? Did I get that right? Am I right? Yeah, the Beatles first, then Earth, Wind, and Fire. And so, uh, this tune is entitled, Gotta Get You Back Into My Life. And uh, we're just going to play this song. It's, it's, it's all right. so, I think we got a guitar solo on there. <clears throat> this is gonna let it go. So this is called Gotta Get You Back Into My Life.
Let's give her another round of applause. Yeah. Let's start with Now y'all, y'all gotta excuse my voice on tonight. The weather, uh, it did something. But the good thing about it is it won't affect my fingers. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this next tune that we are going to do is uh, entitled Hot House, and uh, Vince Norman arranged this tune. This originally a tune done by. Charlie Parker, and uh, yeah, Charlie Parker, and uh, so we did a big band arrangement of it, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, some of the band has gone on a trip to China from UCL, so some of the players we had last year is playing in China right now, wow. representing Oklahoma and the UCL Jazz Night, so yeah, doing great things, yeah. So Vince is over there now, and I think he shot us on a group message saying, hey guys, I wish I could be there tonight. So, but, uh, but we're going to do this arrangement. And he also, by the way, arranged my funny Valentine uh, for Shonda. And that was Heath Jones, you heard, over at Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. So, but on this hot house, we're going to feature a dynamic duo, a father and son. Dynamic duo. The girls. Oh, yes. Brian Girl. And Logan Girl. Logan just got back from the cruise, too, so I know he's ready to play, so okay, I, I guess I've done enough talking. All right, guys. We're going to do it. This tune is called Hot Out.
Ja. Ja. Ja.
Miss Shonda Grimm once again, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. And you heard on that beautiful trombone song, you heard Eric Leonard. Yeah. Eric Leonard, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We're hitting the runway on this one. <laughs> now, we're going to uh, play another original tune that I did. And this is entitled Drop Top. And, uh, well, I'm right. <laughs> so we're going to do this tune entitled Drop Top. And uh, this was the first jazz tune that I've written. And uh, I wrote this back when I was here at UCL. I'll just say that. <laughs> and so uh, we're going to feature our bass player on this one, Miss Ray Wayne Bowen. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? You just take your time. I mean, take your time. I mean, we're going to feature her, and to me, in my opinion, and I told her this, and I just want to tell everybody, to me, I think she's the greatest soloist on Upright Bass yeah. in Oklahoma. Yeah. That's my opinion. Yeah. I just love the way she's it's like eating a good piece of steak. It's, it's just right. So uh, she's going to get me some ear food on tonight. And uh, we're just going to feature Ray Wang and on this tune entitled Drop Top. And there's going to be some other solos going on. And uh, we're just going to play this tune. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, Ray. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. just for those that came here today. So we've got the CDs that's going to be over there at the product table. We've got other CDs for sale as well. But we're going to sell that CD, the big band that we did last year, sell it for $6. And for every CD sold, 50% of the funds is going to go into the Dr. Kidwell Scholarship Fund. And so that's what we're going to do. But not only that, uh, but I told the band that everywhere I play, no matter where I'm at on the planet, and wherever I sell my product, anywhere that that record sells, I'm taking half of the funds and I'm putting it into the scholarship fund in memory of Dr. Kidwell. So that's my contribution to him and uh, where he's from. And so he meant a lot to us, and of course, uh, 
you know what, Lee, do you want to say anything? Huh? <laughs> 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 you know, Lee, Dr. Dr. Lee Rucker here at, at Kidwell, I mean, that's a whole other dynamic duo right there. And, uh, you know, if, if you want to say something, it's all yours. Don't give up for Dr. Yeah. Lee Rucker. Yeah. Kidwell and his importance to uh, jazz and jazz education in our state. He's been inducted into the Jazz Hall of Fame, and uh, we just uh, you know, can't say enough about him. I think most all of us here have had uh, experience with him as a teacher, and uh, I was, I guess, kind of the first one. I was in the first jazz band that he ever started. So it's really a treat now to come back and see it all come full circle like that. He does have a scholarship fund, and if anybody's, you know, feeling over wealthy, you need to get rid of a little money before the end of the year. You just contact uh, Jeremy or uh, Mr. Goral or Mr. Kidwell back there, and we'll make sure it gets in that fund. That fund helps our students here uh, continue their education, and it's, uh, it's just been a great thing for us. So that's about all I have to say, other than I thank Jeremy for doing what he's done. Jeremy wrote these tunes and he arranged them on his keyboard and then he passed those on to uh, Zach Lee. Zach, raise your hand back there. Wake up, Zach. <laughs> and, and so anyway, Zach, uh, he received Jeremy's uh, instructions along with a long uh, sound clip of the charts and he and Vince put all the music together for tonight and so I want to make sure and recognize Zach. He's also been working uh, along with Jeremy on the recording project itself and I know they put a lot of time in so I want to thank them. Thank you all for coming out. I'm going to give this microphone back to you and worry about my next guest. <laughs> all right, so with all of that being said, we're going to feature on this next tune, and it's entitled uh, Cowboy Kent. And it was written for him by uh, David Gibson, who was a student here. And we are going to feature, once again, all of the trombone section. And, oh man. More important than the trombone. More than the trombone, we got a triangle solo. <laughs> Oh. Now, when's the last time you've been to a concert and you've heard a triangle song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to enjoy that part. That's kind of my favorite part of the tune. But, we're going to feature this wonderful trombone section and uh, man, let you guys have it. So, this tune is entitled Cowboy Kent. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Williams. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Benji, your first. Triangle solo concert. <laughs> that featured all the trombone section. The Daniel Metal on trombone. Yeah. John Hartman on trombone too. Eric Blair on lead trombone. Zach Lee on fourth trombone. Yeah. Jeff Kidman on bass trombone. Yeah. Go ahead and introduce the rest of the band. We got Clayton Rofi on the guitar in here. Yeah. Here you go. We got Jerry Cappy on the saxophone. Yeah. Logan Girl on the second alto. Yeah. Brian Girl on lead alto. We got Heath Jones on the tennis sax. Yeah. And Dr. Triangle made himself Leon Williams on the yeah. sax. In the trumpet section, we got Bishop Marsh on trumpet. Yeah. We got Dr. Cliff Roar on trumpet. And going on all of those high notes, you hear a lead trumpet, you got Eric Upchurch on lead trumpet. You got Kurt Palmer on trumpet. And you got Garrison Brown. And then in the middle section, on the wooden skins, you've got Willie Peterson on wooden skins. And then Dave Bowen, where Dave at? Dave Bowen also on wooden skins. Yeah. And on the double bass, there we go. On the double bass, y'all give it up for Miss Ray Wayne. Yeah. 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 And drum roll, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all across the jazz lab, I want you to give a nice big round of applause for the one and the only Dr. Lee Rocker. Feature some more cats. Who's playing on uh, Jerry is playing on this and uh, Heath. Oh yeah, Heath is blowing. And then we're going to give really people. You gotta give the drummer some, you know. Yeah. <laughs> give the drummer some. <laughs> yeah. We'll do that on another show. <laughs> but no, we are going to give them some. And so this tune is entitled The Afterburner. And uh, just fasten your seatbelts, that's all I gotta say. And uh, don't forget, buy and see, donate to the Dr. Kid Kidwell Scholarship Fund. And uh, we thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out once again. And we're just appreciative of everything that you've done. And so this tune, once again, is entitled The Afterburner.